The fact that out of all the content I make, the most controversial seems to be when I use the word nuclear boggles my mind. So the fact that they made a nuclear-powered diamond battery is a weird science fact that boggles my mind. I literally get private messages of people trying to correct the way I say nuclear. And nuclear achievements are something I find really interesting, so I do a lot of content on it. If you hate the way I say it, it's, it's probably not going to change. Uh, so either scroll or enjoy. And I hope you enjoy, because today's one is really Really cool. Every living thing's existence revolves around consuming energy. It's what drives our evolution. The things that can figure out the ways to harness the most energy win. Humans are no different. Our need for energy and our success at exploiting energy is why we've become the dominant-ish species on the planet. I mean, like, obviously we're not doing a great job with what we've accomplished, but we we accomplished it. And then we learned that we could exploit energy for more than just sustenance. And then the industrial age was born, and, and, we, and we got, like, cars and airplanes and tractors and, and, you know, televisions and toasters. And my point is that the world revolves around energy. But unfortunately, the world's problems also revolve around energy. Firstly, where to get enough of it to sustain life as we know it. And then secondly, figuring out how to stop our use of it from ending life as we know it. Pollution, global warming, nuclear meltdowns. Our energy resources are like a pharmaceutical. They can do some great things, but they've got a long list of side effects. You need somebody who can speak really fast to read off in a 30 second commercial. So every time there's an advancement in the way that we can harness energy more sustainably, that's a good thing that should be celebrated. And recently, scientists from Bristol, uh, UK, not the town where cars go really fast in a circle, which also does require a lot of energy. But anyway, researchers from the Bristol with the more intelligent sounding accent developed a brand new nuclear battery that could change the world in a lot of exciting ways. See, they took a radioactive gas and they encased it in a, in a diamond. Don't worry, it was lab grown, ethically sourced. Also, it's not a very shiny one, so you probably wouldn't want to put it on your finger. But anyway, they grew a diamond and they filled it with this radioactive gas. And that diamond casing absorbs all of the radiation. None of it can get out. And then the casing also somehow transfers this type of radiation into electrical energy with no moving parts. They keep comparing to a solar panel, taking light waves, because, you know, radiation is in waves, and changing it into electrical energy. And it's tiny, only about one gram, and it can create 15 joules of electricity a day, which, which honestly isn't, isn't that much. By comparison, a AA battery, which is 20 grams, so 20 times larger, can produce 700 joules of energy a day. But it can only do that for one day. On the other hand, this diamond nuclear battery can produce 15 joules of energy a day for... 10,000-ish years? Which is a long time, about as long as civilization kind of as we know it has existed and probably about 10 times longer than it will last at the rate we're going. Honestly, probably like 100 times longer than it will last at the rate we're going lately. Just gonna say, a 1,000 years seems optimistic. While the daily energy output of this battery are low, the potential is really high for what it could do. Because there's a lot of things that don't require a ton of energy, but ideally you don't want to have to change a battery in, you know, Ever. Like a pacemaker, for example. And you'd be surprised how many of these things exist where it's really important to deliver a little bit of energy for a long period of time. Outer space, for example, because while we have a few gas giants in our solar systems, we are lacking gas station infrastructure along the way to the outer reaches of the last frontier. And a battery that lasts 10,000 years could certainly help get some satellites out of our solar system. Medical devices, because obviously anything inside your body having fewer battery changes is better. The list is really endless. It includes things that draw on our energy resources, but don't draw a lot of energy. Clocks, x-ray machines, I don't know, night lights, maybe. Low draw electrical devices consume terawatts of energy every year and are a huge contributor that we don't think about to global warming and to pollution and to energy scarcity. And while this is not a magic bullet to solving our energy problems, it is certainly a potential part of the solution. And I know, every time I talk about nuclear stuff, people get worried about the consequences and they're worried about what happens with all of the waste from these batteries. And guess what? For once, this looks like one of those situations where we get to have have our cake and eat it too. Because diamond is the hardest substance on earth, the radioactivity inside is incredibly stable and safe while it's inside of its diamond. And when this battery ultimately outlives any of the devices it would ever be put inside of, it's easily recycled where the radioactive gas can be pulled out of the diamond battery and put into a new application. So it appears that there would never be any harmful waste for anything that gets wired with this. Now sadly, this technology is still years out from a commercial application. And even if it ever does become 
become fully commercially applied, it's hardly a civilization-saving solution to our energy problems. But it's an exciting piece of the puzzle, and it opens up all kinds of new doors for exciting new technology. And the fact that a little research on a radioactive rock could give rise to us redefining the way that we re-energize our reality... Sorry, guys, I, I know that one wasn't great. It's the best, the best I could come up with, but I've, I've been drinking. Well, that is pretty mind-boggling.